Um, this is a video showing you how to update the firmware for your Insta 1X, Insta 361, not the 1X, the Insta 361. Um, first of all, you got to switch it uh, on this. Bring that out. Switch it on. Then we connect it. Then we connect it to your iPhone or your Samsung phone. Forgive me because I've got me as my pocket in one hand. We connect it to the iPhone. When you connect it, uh, the Insta 360 app will come up. You go to settings here. And you go straight down to about Insta, which is the last one. Now, if your firmware isn't 2.4.1 and it's something else less than that, then you need a new firmware update. Now to do the firmware update is basically come out of there, disconnect your camera and switch it off and switch your camera off which is a long press. And then next, you go to your laptop and connect in a USB, micro USB cable in, which is that. And we connect it into the, inst into the Insta One, it, One there, next to the reset hole and next to the... Uh, the connection like that then we switch it on now wait for your computer to find it or laptop there and it's come up there it is just minimize that and it'll come up there as you can see, it will come up as a DMC, D, DCIM folder. Right, it comes up as that folder. You leave that there. You can minimize it if you want or not. And then we go into, we go into the internet. Uh, Internet Explorer, you type in insta www.insta360.com and a page come up like this. Then you move across to downloads. There you got the various cameras from Insta. 360. Now, if you got the One X, you go to the One X. If you got the One, you go to the One. Click on it. Click on the picture. Wait for the page to upload. And the first one should be camera firmware. You'll have the latest. You'll have that picture in the corner. If I can zoom in. Of a cog. That is the latest firmware. Now what you do is you click the click the button download and that will come up. Now you're connected now via your cable to the Insta. What you do next, I won't do it because I've already done the download, but what you do is you click that picture because download at the moment is faded out. So what you do is you click 
that picture there if you got the adapter you click that picture but that one even though it says Android cable where uh, Andro Android's cable where for um, cable firmware v2.4.1 even if you're using an iPhone here you still click that you click that picture now download is lit up you click download and then you click save now it will save the folder to it will save the file to your downloads and it will come up there in your download as insta it's hard to see with the as my pocket to zoom in but I try my best it will say insta 360 f w dot bin what you do then you drag it to your drag it to the insta now the insta will come up as a USB drive now it could come up as USB drive on my laptop it comes up as USB drive E right uh, other laptops it may be different but it will come up as a separate drive you drag that file to that drive you don't drag it into the folder mark D C I M don't put it in that folder just drag it to the drive to the insta itself which is which will come up as a drive drag it to that drive once you've dragged it to the drive you can close you can click on the drive to test that it's in there it will come up next to that folder that for uh, the, the hard uh, firmware will come up next to the folder what you then do is shut down that folder come out of the internet um, disconnect um, disconnect your Insta the same way how you disconnect a drive by ejecting it so you press eject it's hard to see on here I'm sorry about that but you press to remove the drive you remove the cable from the Insta And then you switch it back on right you switch the insta back on it because it will automatically come off if it hasn't come off then you switch it off but it will automatically shut down you switch back on the insta you'll get a blue light you should get a blue light now that blue light will stay on anywhere between 20 to 60 seconds it will stay on the blue light which you'll get here so that light will stay on once the light goes off it will re it will return back to a green light that means the download is, is successful if it turns back to a red light or the blue light hasn't come back on uh, hasn't come off to a green light then it hasn't been successful now once that's done and it is successful and it's a green light switch back off switch back off your Insta 361 re-switch it on again and then connect it sorry about that my doorbell rang um, you then connect it back up to your app you go back to about Insta 360 you click that back and the latest firmware should come up on the firmware version and you're all set you're all set then now if you put a new card in there you can go back to uh, oh it hasn't got it because I haven't clicked it but you can go back to formatting S micro SD card and you can format your card then so 
I wish uh, Insta showed this is a video on their site, but I was just trying to look for it and I haven't. They've just given you a written explanation how to do it. But this is just a video because I noticed there's no videos on YouTube about it. So this is just a video to show you how to update your Insta 361. Okay, I hope this is uh, helpful to you. Um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any comments, please make a comment in the description below. All right, thanks very much.